guys, it's Johnny E90X here again. Uh, today we have a little vlog. As I've mentioned in some of my older videos, I did have an old 2008 335. So I do have a couple of parts from it that I'll transfer over to my new uh, green 335 that you guys see in some of the videos. So today there's not much on the agenda. I just wanted to make a quick video. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and swap in some cowl filters from Burger Motorsports. Uh, some of you guys may know about those. They kind of help to increase, I guess, the engine uh, compartment noise that you can hear. So I'm gonna go ahead and install those real quick with you, maybe take you guys with me wherever I go today, and then we're gonna end the day with a car wash. So without further ado, let's get into it. So this is what the cowl filter looks like. It basically removes all of this right here. That's what our cowl is. Uh, we'll go ahead and be able to remove that and then just replace the openings with this. And yeah, that's gonna have to, that's gonna delete that whole section and give you more space to work in your engine. You won't have to remove that every single time. So this is kind of more of a convenience thing, if anything. So you're gonna need to remove that screw right there. And I have here an eight millimeter to do that with. Make sure you're removing all of them. There should be a total of one, two, three, four, five, and six. So with all of those popped out, this filter area right here should be able to come right out. Uh, for the sake of this video and for my time, I'm not gonna be deleting the entire cowl just purely the parts for the air filters, but let's go ahead and start installing those. All right, and just like that, we've already got the engine bay looking a bit nicer. We'll go ahead and install these. We've gone ahead and installed them, and now let's go ahead and head out for a car wash. All right guys, so we're about to head out to the front office in my apartment. They had a little giveaway and I won something, so I'm gonna pick that up real quick. Uh, I also have some goodies here. I'll do a review, I guess, on this. This is like a foam cannon for a gardening hose, or yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead out, wash some cars. Uh, and yeah, and I'll give you guys a verdict on that exactly. All right guys, <clears throat> I just picked up uh, the thing that I said I won. So it's a magic bullet. It's like a little blender, but yeah, I was having uh, issues with my apartment. So I went ahead and gave him a call. Like every time I would close my garage door, it would open just right back up or not right back up, but like I'll leave for the day and then it'll be open by the time I get back. So I thought I was just being a donkey and I didn't know how to close the garage door right, but they let me know that it was probably a programming issue, so I'll have to do that later, but let's go ahead and head out. So I just wanted to go ahead and show you just how dirty the car is. Uh, as you guys know, New Year's just passed and there's a bunch of fireworks and got gunpowder and paper all over the car. Go ahead and start washing.
All right, well, here's the final result. It's looking pretty clean. We always use chemical guys. I bought some Adams uh, foaming car wash to try to use with that, uh, I guess that foam cannon I showed you guys earlier, but I guess it did a pretty good job for now. So this car has some pretty terrible looking headlights, not gonna lie, and the front end has a bunch of rock chips everywhere, so hopefully I can find a way to get those fixed, but maybe I'll try to restore the headlights. Alright guys, so that's the end of the video. I didn't get to record an outro because I'm dumb, but just throwing in a clip here some from a random car meet I went to, but if y'all enjoyed the video, please leave a like or a comment or anything. Uh, I really want to start making more videos and I got more content coming soon, so stay tuned for that and yeah, just let me know your thoughts in the comments.